double jump, boom. And you could use this from higher up too. So this isn't just like a ground only, like it's gonna be obviously good in PVP. It's not just, it's not just for, for that though. If let's just say, I don't know if there's a mechanic where you're going to need to fall, but if you roll and then if you double jump, you dash forward. So you put your transcendence transfer on your teammate, right? So I cast it, it puts them on it. And then all you have to, you port to them now. So you could port, I'm over here. By the way, it has the same range as normal transcendence. And then you port and it ports you to the teammate. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you some of the war within alpha. I did get alpha. And before I get into the video, I just want to tell you that if there's anything you want to see, or is there any, if there's anything you want tested, uh, please comment that down below. I plan on doing a lot of testing on the alpha. So if you want to see dungeons, talents, anything, please let me know, comment it. I will do my best to get it done because these talents are very exciting. That And that is what we were talking about today. Let's just jump right into it. I'm very excited right now. So starting off with the monk talents, the top row, I don't think has changed much. You still get rising sun kick, paralysis, and soothing mist as the top nodes. Starting with the second row, we have the elusive mist. So reduce all damage you take and your target takes while channeling student mist by 6%. So that means when you're channeling student mist, you both take less damage. This is a two point talent right now. And that's what they've seen that like they've done a lot. They've made a lot of two point talents, one point. So it's kind of nice. I never really took this in PVP or PVE. So I don't think this is going to see much use, but it's there now. Tiger's Lust, so this is just a 70%, you know, movement speed and removes all roots and snares. We have this on, on live now and yeah, it hasn't changed. New talent here, so crashing momentum. When you roll through a target, they're snared for by forty percent for five seconds, and then disable. I believe is the same. It's a fifty percent slow, and then whenever you deal damage to them, it refreshes that slow. So if you want to see crashing momentum, pretty much it's exactly what it is. I'm just going to target this dummy right here. I'm going to roll through it, and they're slowed by forty percent. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to see much use in PVE. Maybe to help with kiting mobs if some of the dungeons have a ton of like big poles, but in PVP, uh, that's that's pretty good. That Having a slow is really good. Fast feet, so Rising Sun Kick deals 70% increased damage. Spinning Crane Kick deals 10% additional damage. They just moved this pretty much. I think it was like down here, but they just moved up here. And again, it's one, it's one talent point now, which is fantastic. In the next row, we get Improved Detox. So I believe Detox is baseline now. This is the new spell book, by the way. I'm still trying to get used to it. It might take me a little bit to... Uh, to find detox, I will eventually find it. So detox is right here. Maybe it's just baseline for misweavers now. I'm not sure, because I feel like if it was detox for all specs, it'd be over here in the monk. But I guess we just get detox here, and they just give us a talent to make it so you can remove poison and disease effects with it. So obviously this is gonna be an optional talent depending on the dungeon or the comp you're running in PVP. Wind's reach, so the range of disable is increased by five yards, which is cool. And then the duration of crashing momentum is increased by three seconds and it's snare Reduces the movement speed by an additional 20%. So it was 40% before. And with this talent, it's going to be a 60% slow for what? Seven seconds? For for eight seconds. So it's just a 60% slow for eight seconds. That's crazy. Yeah, no, that's that, I feel like that's going to be really good in PvP. Especially when teams try to like stand on top of you. Even good versus pets too to keep them slowed. So that is worth using. Disable. I never really used it in PvP or PvE. Unless I'm fist weaving. But still... Still a solid talent. Common Presence reduces all damage taken by 6%. We have this on live right now. Bounding Agility, Roll, and Sheet Torpedo travel small distance further. So I guess it was shorter before, and now with that talent, we go a little... Oh, we do. We go a little bit further now. Look at that. Extra mobility is always nice. Grace of the Crane increases all healing taken by 4%. This is nerfed from live. I'm pretty sure on live, this is a two-point... This is a two-point node, and it's 4% and 8%. So they just cut it in half. They just made it 4%. So it is nerfed, but it's only one point. So that's not bad. Vivacious Vivification. Every 10 seconds, your next wave of five becomes instant. We have this on live. Same cooldown too. Uh, good talent. I just wish that they would kind of play around with that a little bit more for casting Miss Weaver. Um, you know, maybe eight, six seconds would be nice, but maybe it's too overpowered. I do wish that Soothing Mist didn't consume the Vivacious Vivification. So if you use Soothing Mist and Vivify... I wish that uh, it didn't go away, but it does, which is which is too bad. Jade Walk, so while you're out of combat, your movement speed is increased by 15%. Could get some use at some points. I don't know. Definitely not in PvP. 
PVE, Mythic Plus raids, I feel like you're just always in comment. So I don't know what value Jade Walk gets, but it's there. Paralysis now removes all enrage effects from its target. So this might be good in both PvP and PvE. Um, in Mythic Plus, you have the raging affix, right? So you can, I guess, use paralysis to get rid of that enrage, right? I think it counts as an enrage. And then in PvP, I guess it would really, I think it's really only good for warriors. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any other classes that have an enrage effect. So, so very niche value, uh, you know, value you can get from it, but at least you can get some uh, value from it. Spearhand Strike, same thing. Um, 15 second cooldown. It's our interrupt. Ancient Arch, reduce the cooldown of paralysis by 8 seconds and the cooldown of Lick Speed by 5 seconds. So I think this is good. I think this, this is a good talent right here. You're going to have to either spec into Fast Feed or Improve Detox to get to it. It's kind of an awkward spot for it to be in. But I think just having, at least in PvP, I feel like having reduced cooldown on your paralysis and leg sweep is really good. Maybe not so much PvE. Maybe it doesn't line up with certain things. But I think in PvP, oh wait, this is actually a, this is a two-point node. So that means, so I need to go here and then I'll, I'll pick up this one here. So that means reduce the cooldown paralysis by 15 seconds and leg sweep of by 10 seconds. So this is probably going to be mandatory for PvP. I don't know if it's going to be mandatory in PvE, but this makes your paralysis 30 seconds and it makes your leg sweep 50 seconds, which is a pretty big deal. I think if you don't have those uh, redu redu reduced CC, uh, you, you're just going to fall behind at some point. Next, we have Cheat Torpedo or Roll or Celerity. You have an additional roll or you can play Cheat Torpedo. I think for most people play Roll, but Cheat Torpedo is really good for Casimus Weaver. Um, I don't think it really matters too much, but the extra mobility is always nice. Energy transfer successfully interrupting enemy reduces the cooldown paralysis and roll by five seconds, which I think is so good. This is so good. So it just makes it so you don't miss your kick in PvP. You get a little reward for it, which is nice. Um, in PvE, you're probably going to have a ton of interrupts you'll be able to have. And so you're always going to be rolling and you always have that paralysis. Transcendence is our port. So it's our, our really important. We're going to be specking into that every time. Chi Burst and Chi Wave. I'm actually surprised they made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> very surprised they are still here uh i only really ever use these to get further down the tree at least in dragonflight so chi wave is decent chi burst is okay but i just feel like they could use a little bit more love or just removed quick footed the duration of snare effects on you is reduced by 20 percent. amazing for pvp i mean seriously the snares and roots are like it doesn't count roots but snares are like the most annoying thing as a misweaver so Quick footed is probably gonna be extremely useful, especially if you're if you're fist weaving. Resonant fist, they moved up, it looks like. So it used to be down here, they moved it up here. Uh your attacks have a chance to resonate dealing nature damage to enemies within eight yards. So that's pretty good. Um you obviously obviously have to do damage to do this. So cast a mist weaver, at least in PvP, you probably won't be able to use this, but fist weaving, of course, any extra damage is good. So we still have to choose between Ring of Peace or Song of Chiji right here. Uh, which is a little unfortunate, but there was an extra talent down here that makes it so... Uh, Ring of Peace, cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds, and Song of Chi-Chi's cast time is reduced by 0.5 seconds. Look how fast this is. Ready? Boom. Oh, where's my cast bar? Oh, it's down here. It's so fast. It's so fast. Love it. I love Song of chi Um, You're still probably going to play Rob, though, in PvP. You're still probably going to play Rob, but Song of chi is pretty good. Um, Mythic Plus, obviously, probably Ring of Peace. Spirit's Essence, so Transcendence Transfer snares targets within 10 yards by 70% 70 sec by seventy for 4 seconds when cast. So, I'll show you that real quick. Hopefully, and this video is going to be long. I feel bad, but I think it's going to be worth the watch. So, you put your port down. Let's see. Maybe if I port from here. Maybe I have to port from here. Let me see. And then you port. And movement speed slowed by 70%. And then you roll through them. And now they have another soul for 60%. We're going to be so... We have so many slows and so much mobility. This expansion is going to be wild. I'd be surprised if it didn't get nerfed, honestly. Um, so that is that for the transfer right here. Tiger Tail Sweep. So increases the range of leg sweep by four yards. In PvP, this is mandatory because I swear... I, I miss so many leg sweeps and it's not me. I, I swear it's not me. I it's It has to be the server or latency or something. But this is good. Four yards is nice. Improved Touch of Death. So... Touch of Death can now be used on targets with less than 15% health remaining, dealing 35% of your max health in damage. This is good. This is our, you know, PvP one where you can use on players. So this is pretty good. Mythic Plus. 
deals your your health pool to it. So that's really solid too. Dance of the Wind, your dodge chance increased by 10%. An additional 10% every four seconds, so you dodge an attack. I never really found use for this on retail. Um, I kind of don't really like it that much. So I never played Dance of the Wind. It was a it's a choice node now with I think Diffuse Magic. So I don't know. I probably still won't play it, but maybe there's some uses for it. Uh, Fort Brew, so turns your skin to stone for 15 seconds, increases your current max health by 20%, reduce all damage you take by 20%. Oh, wow. This is a 1.5 minute cooldown. Wow. So they, did they finally admit that Fort Brew being a six minute cooldown was absolutely absurd? It seems like that. Wow. Okay. So this is, this is nice. This is, what's the, what's the next down? Fortified Brew cooldown reduced by 30 seconds? Yeah, that's nerfed. That's going to get nerfed in PvP 100%. So that means Fort Brew is a one minute cooldown? Oh no, it's a two minute cooldown. Sorry, it's a two minute cooldown. I already I already have this talent. So four brew is a two minute cooldown, and I reduce it to a minute and a half with this talent. Good. Finally. Good. Minute and a half cooldown is so nice. Um, especially since I nerfed all of our other defenses in PvP. I love I love Fort Brew. Four Brew is my favorite. I'm glad that they made that change. I already spoke about this. Ring of Peace, uh, cooldown reduced by five seconds. A song of Chi Chi cast time reduced by 0.5 seconds. I think it's gonna be good. Probably not. I, you're probably still going to play Rop, but I hope Song Chi Gia gets his time to shine. Diffuse Magic, same thing as it is on live. Just reduces magic damage you take and then transfers all those debuffs back to the original caster. Vigorous Expulsion. So expels harm, he, expel harm's healings increase by 5% and critical uh, chance increase by 15%. Same thing as live. Just helps healing from your expel harm. Save Them All was nerfed pretty heavily, I'm pretty sure. So this makes it so when somebody drops below 35% health, you gain additional 10% healing for uh, the next four seconds. I'm pretty sure that's it's nerfed from 10%. It was nerfed from 20% to 10% from live. So a little bit of a nerf to save them all. This is actually a really good passive that we've had. No one ever really talks about it, but it's a really good passive. It is one point now though, so it's kind of good, but still a little unfortunate. Roll removes a snare effect once every 30 seconds. I hope that they buff this just a little bit because I don't know how it is. And I mean, Mythic Plus doesn't have that many snares. So this is obviously geared towards PvP. I really hope that they kind of tweaked the number for Swift Art to like, you know, maybe 10, 15 seconds would be kind of nice. But it, we are getting some quite a bit of mobility. So I, I, you know, can't complain too much. But still, good talent. We can have a tracker for this. Gets rid of a snare. It's fantastic. This is basically like a little gnome racial that doesn't get rid of roots. We have a choice node here between strength of spirit, which expel harm's healings increase by 30% based on your missing health, or profound rebuttal, expel harm's critical healings increase by 15%. I'm always a big fan of strength of spirit just because I use expel harm when I'm low health a lot. It's, I just think it's good. You could also, you know, if you're stacking crit, profound rebuttal, probably more useful, but... I always found that Strength of Spirit was a lot more useful, in my opinion. We get our statue, of course. We get the cooldown reduction on, on Fort Brew, or we can make it so it increases our health by 10% more, and the damage you take is reduced by 10%, an additional 10%. So two minutes cooldown, you can make it a two-minute cooldown and make it even stronger, or make it a minute and a half cooldown, and I think it's already pretty decently strong by you know increasing max health by 20% reducing damage you take by 20%. So... And then a bunch of these hero talents buff Fort Brew quite a bit. So I do think that the cooldown reduction is really nice to have. Celestial Determination. So while your Celestial is active, you cannot be slowed below 90% normal movement speed. So when you have Yulon out, if you're Windwalker, Zhuan, this does not affect Chi Gi, by the way, in case you're wondering. This does not affect Chi Gi. So if you're playing Chi, you know, if you're Fist Weaving and you're playing Invoke Chi Gi, this talent doesn't have any impact on it. You're still not going to be able to slow with Chi Gi up because it makes you uh, immune to movement impairing effects. But for Windwalkers and for Cast and Mistweavers that you know have Yulon and Zhuen, this is pretty good. You can't get slowed, so that means if you know when, this is probably more useful for Windwalkers where you actually can't be slowed. You can get rooted, but you can't get slowed. So that's nice. Martial Instincts increases your physical damage done by two percent. Avoidance increased by two percent. I'm assuming this is a double. This is a two node, right? There's a little little double node here. Let me see if there's a way to. Can I just like put a little, okay, two points here. So increase your physical damage done by 4% and avoidance increased by 4%. Not so much for a Mistweaver, but could pro probably good for Fist Weaving. Pro definitely good for Windwalker. This one I'm excited about. Bounce back. So when you're hit for more than 12% of your max health, reduces all damage you take by 40% for six seconds. This effect 
cannot occur occur more than once every 30 seconds. That it's it's so good. You basically get a fort brew every 30 seconds. Obviously, it doesn't increase your health, but the 40% damage reduction and 12% of your max health really isn't a lot. So we're base we're just get we're just getting a lot of defensives, um, which is nice. In case you didn't notice, by the way, Dampen Harm is no longer a monk talent. Which it has been. It is now a brewmaster only talent. It's in their own tree. So mist weavers and windwalkers do not get dampened harm anymore. So bounce back could be helpful with uh, with losing that. I I have tried so long on retail to get bounce back and I can't get it because it's so far in the tree. But it's just right here. So that's amazing. Windwalking. So you and your allies within ten yards have I probably four percent movement speed. Right. Probably four. Let's see if I can just move this. Four percent movement speed. Decent. I don't know how I never played this talent on live, so I don't know how good it is. I don't know if it's good. I don't think it is, but it could be. Uh, healing wind. So transcendence transfer immediately heals you for fifteen percent of your max health. It's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. It's just an instant fifteen percent heal when you pour it. I think that is. It's so good. I think it's gonna nerfed, but I think it's so good. Um, any heal when you pour it is amazing because there's times where I pour it when I'm stunned. And I'm dying. Like, I'm dying the bleeds and dots. I, I can't heal myself. So it's kind of nice. And then also, maybe it's probably good in Mythic Plus 2 when you pour it. You get a nice little heal. And then dodge mechanics, which is fantastic. Chi proficiency. Magical damage done increased by 4%. And healing done increased by 4%. Just the healing done increased by 4% is enough. Magical damage would be, I believe, Crackling Jade Lightning. Chi Wave, Chi Burst, anything like that. So could be good. I think Resident Fists is nature damage. So... But magical damage, no, could be good. I think this is still uh, magical damage. And then we have our we have our final nodes, which is just amazing. So lighter than air. This is this is a great talent. Okay, so we're we're gonna apply the changes. We're gonna go through it. So uh, lighter than air. Whenever you roll, you're gonna get a buff. And if you double jump, it'll dash you forward. So let me show you real quick. So I'm gonna roll. It's rolling. I'm gonna get a buff right here. I'm gonna double jump. Boom. Double jump. Boom. And you could use this from higher up too. So this isn't just like a ground only. Like it's gonna be obviously good in PvP. It's not just it's not just for, for that though. If let's just say I don't know if there's a mechanic where you're going to need to fall, but if you roll and then if you double jump, you dash forward. It's even if it's bad, it's, I don't, which I don't think it is, I'm playing this talent because I think it's amazing. It's going to help our ability so much, and it's just fun to use. I, I've been saying for so long that they've been needed to add like some kind of double jump to, to Monk for so long, and I'm so happy they added something to increase some ability. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Flow of Chi is pretty interesting. What you gain a bonus based on your current health. So above 90%, your movement speed is increased by 5%. This bonus stacks with similar effects. So maybe it does it. Maybe it stacks with chi torpedo with uh. Well, wait. Let me. Maybe it stacks with chi torpedo. Isn't there a way to see your speed? Or no? Am I crazy? No. I must be an add-on. I thought there was a way to see how much speed you had. It, may, it might stack with chi torpedo because chi torpedo gives you uh movement speed increase. So I'm assuming that that stacks with it. Between ninety percent and thirty-five percent, your damage taken reduced by five percent. So you nice get a little five percent wall there. And then when you drop below 35% health, healing increased by 10%, which is great. So 35% also, by the way, save them all, gives you additional healing. Obviously, this only affects you. Healing received only affects you, but still, uh, the save them all and flow of chi will probably stack together, which is nice. This one right here. So th these talents right here. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. This node right here. I, I had so much fun last night. I was testing this, and I had so much fun. So transcendence. So th we have escape from reality, which is what it is on live now you have two ports within 10 seconds right you port and then you have 10 seconds to port again which is probably going, going to be the default one for pvp but that one isn't the fun option the fun option is transcendence link spirit so what transcendence does now is it tethers you to an ally for one hour and you could port to them so you put your transcendence transfer on your teammate right so i cast it it puts them on it and then all you have to you port to them now so you could port I'm over here. By the way, it has the same range as normal transcend. And then you port. And it ports you to the teammate. Fatal touch. So touch of death increases your damage by 5% for 30 seconds after being cast. And it's cooldown is reduced by 90 seconds. Definitely more geared towards Mythic Plus. This is definitely a Mythic Plus talent for sure. It increased your damage for 30 seconds by 5%. And then you could use 
you know, it's cool to introduce by 90 seconds. So you just have a little, what, 90 second touch of death, which is amazing. And then the final one, again, this is another just fun little, some fun talents right here. It's kind of annoying to get to because you need to get the martial instincts. But what this is, is rushing reflexes. So your heightened reflexes allow you to sw react swiftly to the presence of enemies, causing you to quickly launch your nearest enemy in front of you t within 10 yards after you roll. And then clash. So you and your target charge each other, meeting halfway, then rooting all targets from the six yards. So I'm going to go over this first one. Let me quickly just change these talents real quick. So this is the one that will roll you, and then like it kind of charges you to the target. Let me show real quick. All right, so if this is the target that you're going to roll to, you're going to roll, and then it should dash you forward. But for, it's It's been kind of buggy lately. You have to get kind of close to it when you roll. Otherwise, it doesn't do it. Let me see if I can get a little closer. No. Yeah, it's been super buggy. It was working the other day, but I don't know, it's been it's kind of buggy. It also, it, you can't specify which target you want to roll to, which kind of sucks. So there's a chance that it kind of brings you to the wrong target. So it's kind of hard to get to. I think it's a cool talent. I think it's just kind of hard to get to. And then Clash, can I use it on these dummies? Yeah, so it charges you to them, and then they root. It roots people. So th that's a, I really like that. That's a really cool talent. It, I think I would choose Clash just because I feel like rushing reflexes is like kind of a little bit RNG when it comes to like who it's going to charge you to. I also don't know if it, if it affects pets either. And that is it for the monk talent tree. I'm going to do a second video going over the Mistweaver talent tree for now, but I figured this video is long enough. So if you want to see anything from alpha or beta, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do it. That is that, that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you later.